In this video, I'm going to show how to complete derivation 2.6 LRS 253. So we'll say show conclusion. Can we make an assumption? No, we can't. Okay, let's bring in our premises. Can we do anything with lines two and three? No, we cannot. Uh, we would need the negations of any of the disjuncts to do MTP. We don't have any of them. We can't do that. Okay, so that means the derivation is stuck. When the derivation is stuck, we do subderivation or more multiple subderivations and we do those uh, what subderivations do we do we don't do subderivations of lines we already have why would we do that the subder the point of the subderivation is to give us a new line so you wouldn't want to do a subderivation of a line you already have because you already have it and getting it again is not going to help you so you want to do a subderivation rather of something that you don't have but that getting it will help you complete the derivation okay well that means boxing canceling line one. We're going to box and cancel line one with DD because it's not going to be with CD. And that means we're going to need P if and only if Q. How do you get P if and only if Q? Well, you build it. And what do you build it out of? You build it out of if P then Q and if Q then P. So those are the two sentences we want to get. If we have them, then we can build the conclusion and we can apply DD. We have a show command that can help us because this is such a common strategy. When we're asked to show a biconditional, probably we're going to have to, uh, we're not going to be given the two conditionals, so we're going to have to get them. And the one way you need to, one way you often uh, we'll get by con uh, conditional the, the way you'll need to use is to do su sub derivations of them So we'll say show C-O-N-D show conditional you use this when you're trying to show by conditional and it will say aha Okay Well, which of those two conditionals that make up the thing you're trying to show would you like to do a sub derivation of and we'll just do them in order And we'll do them separately So we say here's line four show if P then Q well again We want to check to make an assumption we can make an assumption. We'll say assume CD we want to see, can we use our new line with our old lines? Well, same thing as in the previous derivation, not by itself, but if we apply dn to line 5, then we can do 2 and 6 mtp. Hey, that gives us the consequent of line uh, 4, so we'll apply cd to line 7, which will box and cancel line 4. We're going to show the conditional again. This time we're going to show if q then p going the other way, and let's close that up. Again, we'll say assume cd, have to do that. Okay, can we do anything with Q? Not by itself, but we can apply uh, DN. And then we can do MTP with negation, negation Q in line 3, which gives us P. That is the consequent of line 9, so we can apply uh, CD to line 12, which box and cancels line 9. Okay, well now we can put 4 and 9 together, building the conclusion, and we'll apply DD, and there we go. It's important that we do these two subderivations separately, neither one inside of the other, because when we're done with both of them, we need to have both of them. If we did one inside the other, then once we closed up all the derivations, once they were all boxed up, we'd only have the outer one, the one we started first, line four, line nine, whichever that was. So that's what we would be stuck with. Instead, we have to do them separately. We do them separately here, and we can then use them both, and we can build P if and only if Q out of them, and we can then apply DD to complete our derivation. So that is derivation 2.6, LRS 253.